खालच्या लेखीला काय प्रॉब्लेम होती फातिमा पंकज समजा कल का लेक्चर व्हॉइस देते का माझी बोला पंकज मेगा बोला कोण तरी बर लेक्चर स्टार्ट करूया हॅलो वॉइस येते का हॅलो hello everyone so after the point of parts uh, and lan local area network web server web browser web page development we have seen in my previous lecture so now let's uh, see the layer, next point that is mos okay it is nothing but microsoft microsoft office s is a share point server okay share point server so we have to see this point in today in the today session so microsoft office share point server is robis and futures rich uh, okay application it allows one to take organization information and maintain it in one centralized location this is accessed through a web browser by the members of the organization it brings together various uh, technology into the signal integrate platform it is supporting all internet okay this microsoft office is supporting the all internet extranet and web application in where uh, you know you are using in your uh, apple so right as a apple so in your mobile also is supporting in uh, all internet and in application web browser okay by the member of that organization it bring together various technology into single integrate platform it is supporting all internet okay extranet and web application in one platform it helps simplify the everything everyday task thereby improving overall productivity so it's help to simplify the everyday tasks you are using this so i think you are familiar with this right so future of this uh, future of this okay so here some futures are there so control uh, this the future of mos moss that is microsoft office sharepoint server so first future is that control the control axis okay so this is the first future here so here in this um, moss that is microsoft office server uh, shared point server is established customize the document and management for the policies so it is developed to customize the document and manage the policy by applying access rights on documents okay so it established for which purpose to um, manage the policy okay access can be man managed at the pre item level also okay so uh, second is the central management central management central management okay i like like this central management here so in this mos that is moss that is microsoft official point server allow storing and managing all the document in one centralized location so in centralized location we can it allow the this that is a this mos allowed the uh, say, uh, means store the centralized location any data all data so documents locating become easier 
if you store in centralized location, then if you want again, then you will easily get this data because it's sent, uh, locate the centralized location. So document locating become easier. It also allow one to manage how one data is stored. Setting can be modified to establish, okay, policy <coughs> and new content types and workflow. So this is a, we are using centralized management to store the data in centralized location. Okay, so this is the second feature of the MOS that is the Microsoft Office SharePoint server. So here first features is about the uh, what? Uh, control the access. So here document management policy by applying the access right on documents. Okay, so that third is the content management. Third is the content. management okay mag content management so here master page and page layout includes the template which provide consist look to the content most include the future and provide consistent look to one content one can also publish content from one area to another so content management in these master page and page layout included so included templates okay uh, why we this included because this is provide the consist consistent loop to the content to provide the consistent loop uh, a master page and page layout uh, are included here in MOS that is the Microsoft Office SharePoint server okay so MOS include the features and provide consistent loop to the one content one can uh, also publish content from one area to another. Okay, so this is uh, about content management, which is the future of MOS, that is the Microsoft Office SharePoint server. Then next feature is that working across organization, working across the organization. ORG I'm reading, okay, organization. Uh, so here, content create in one part of the organization can be made available to other parts. So here the content is created in one part of organization can be made available to another other parts of the organization because those content can be easily integrated into the system and stored in web service or document. Uh, this also avoid duplication efforts. So why we are using this the future because to avoid the duplication efforts with this content creates one part organization can be made available to other parts of the organization. Why? Because the content can be easily integrated into the system. Okay. For why this purpose, we are using the content across organization and to store in web service or document libraries, the also avoid duplicates uh, efforts. So improve the business operation here. The next point is about the improve, improve the business. Business what? Op operations. Let's see. Okay. So here, apart from allowing one to store, manage, and view documents, MOS, that is a Microsoft Office shared uh, point uh, server, also help to day to day. Uh, means also helps with day to day business operation. For example, MOS allow means uh, Microsoft Office SharePoint allow server allows, yeah, uh, you can say allows the creating portal uh, that access and display the information one want to specify. Some other features are there like search features, search features. The here, this future search business data. And this is the most improved business operations having the futures. This first one is the search futures. So here, this future search business data document, web page and people. Okay, the search results are more comprehensive and allowed decision to be made based on the list uh, latest information. So it is the searching the latest information. So this future searches business data documents and web page okay so search features used to dis uh, searching the business documents web page and people the search results are more comp 
expressive and allow the decision to be made based on the latest information. Then security minded sharing. Okay, the second which is the security. Okay. Sharing. This is the next future. So here this future allows the sharing of information. Search future is used to searching the people, business, web browser, and any latest information. Okay, so this why we, that's why we are using a search future here in business operation. And security minded sharing, it is a use. This future allows sharing of information that one actually want to share. Okay, for example, Excel service running on uh, Microsoft Office server, um, SharePoint server, allow one to share data in real time. But it it is not necessary that uh, one must uh, share every that is browser can be used to view uh, interactive Excel. So here, separate sheet and one can apply setting so that uh, only required um, information is shared. And not any uh, what properly uh, means uh, only require information we uh, we want to mean uh, require information we only can share not privately information which is uh, not shown to the others means privacy information will be not shared only require information which we can uh, share in the public also right so collaboration the this futures allow the collaborate with people at partner company some other business futures are like integrate partner data work uh, remotely and personalization. So colla in collaboration, the three features are there like, uh, like integrate partner data. So business information collect from the customers and partners can be integrated into the system. The allow including their information in searches, it also enhance the working relationship with, with client, suppliers and partners. So this is the integrated partner data is having its uh, enhance the working relationship with clients, suppliers and partners. So business information collect from the customers and partners can be integrated into the system. So work remotely, one can be Microsoft Outlook to work with MOS, allowing one to access organization of information from anywhere. Personalization here, my site tool can be used by users personalization how they interact with microsoft office sharepoint server my site so here um, just one minute so here in this you can see there what uh, my site so in, in my site this my site so here, uh, my site future of, it is also future of MOS, that is a Microsoft Office SharePoint uh, server, can be used to present business information. This site is used to present the business information about the user, including role, colleagues, manager, work, group, skill, and so on. It is include public and private view. Privacy setting allows a user to decide who all can see want information about that user. The information that can be viewed uh, by others include following like workspace. So workspace, this show all the work, workspace to which user has access. Then links, my link, link of personal link for a user in short. So personalization site based on user role in the organization content. Uh, then will be uh, personalization uh, then colleagues teacher tackle this future allow user to track their colleagues by my site change and update uh, then outlook uh, email the, the this display users email and uh, calendar information then distribution group this show all the distribution group or uh, to which user belongs when looking okay uh, at the colleagues my site one can see the distribution group one have in common so this is about my sites which include some points like workspace my link uh, personalization site uh, then colleagues tracker okay so now the point is about uh, electronic data interchange that is edi 
इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा इसे इलेक्ट्रॉनिक डेटा इंटरचेंज ओके सो हियर ओके सो इन दिस Electronic data interchange (EDI) allows the exchange. Okay, so EDI is allows to exchange of business document in standardized electronic format. Okay, so electronic data interchange is the intercompany, you can say, communication of business document. in a standard format the simple definition of edi that is a electronic data interchange is stand uh, edi simple definition of edi is stand electronic format that replace paper based documents like purchase order or invoice by automatic paper based transaction that is a pdf right then oh, automatic paper based means pdf form okay then organization can save time and eliminate errors caused by uh, manual processing that are costly to fix with edi transaction information moves directly from a computer application in one organization define a location and other information is document format this automated capability enables that to be shared rapidly instance of hours days or weeks required with paper document or other methods today industry use edi that is the electronic data interchange uh, to share a range of document types from purchase order to invoice the request from questions to loan application and more so electronic data interchange allows the exchange of business documents in a standardized electronic format Uh, between business partners here are some benefits of edi over the paper based <laughs> business documents uh, that is reduce cost benefits like benefits like reduce the cost reduce okay so reduce the cost just a minute reduce the cost this is a benefit then reduce error increase the staff efficiency a secure environment increase the processing uh, speed uh, and improve the relationship between business partner okay so here organization and personal organization like edi speed process of working with business to business partner so here uh what here points are there like nuts and nuts and bolts okay and bolt so here extension uh, markup language xml extensible markup language xml extensible markup language and world wide web page that is a blue blue okay world wide web are the used to edi of function edi format is majorly used for e commerce transaction there are many edi standards some of uh, them are like uh, you can say una first like you can say un then edi fact un edi fact standard okay so una edi fact un is nothing but united uh, united nations edi fact that is the electronic data interchange for administrator okay com uh, commerce and transport so this is a full form that like this let me change the color here okay so you in is starting from united nation united nations then e4 electronic electronic 
data interchange data interchange data interchange for f for for administration administrators okay then c4 commerce and transport okay so this is a full form of this uh, so nodes and boards having uh, means uh, my xml uh, and word well are used by edi to function the point it's come under this points so, of okay, nodes and boards so board sorry so here you can say that uh, the xml and word file web are used by edi that is electronic data interchange to the function edi format is a majorly used for e-commerce transaction uh, there are many edi standards as uh, follow like uh, un edi fact standards so un edi uh, fact that is nothing but you for united nation electronic data interchange for administrations commerce and transports is a international standard okay it is an international standard it was developed by un that is united nation set of syntax rules to structure uh, an interactive exchange protocol is provided uh, by this standard this standard also provides a set of standard messages which allow multi industry and multi country exchange of electronic business document so then next is a uh, ans a n s i okay so next is this one mate a n s i okay so this is stand for american national standard institute american national standard institute or uh, this um, uh, character and a, a and a s c and a s c this is stand for accredited standard committee so an x12 to the develop uniform standard for electronic exchange of business so this is used to the develop the uniform standard for electronic exchange of business transaction between industry so it is used for the exchange of business transaction between the industry then trade comes standard then next is a trade com standard trade com com standard so this is a stand uh, standard was primarily used in uk literal uh, sector it was maintained and extended by uk article numbering association and uh, article numbering um, association then od then od odt standard this is a uh, stand for organization organization for data for data exchange organization for data exchange by by yes tele transmission transmission in europe so this is a full form of d o d e t t okay so in europe so odtt that is so odi it is the uh, organization for data exchange by telex for telemetry transmission in europe is used within the european uh, automotive industry it develops tool and uh, you can say recommendation that improve the follow of goods uh, then service products product that uh, business information across the uh, value chain so vic that is a voluntary inter industry co commerce standard is used within their tail industry of north america so this is about the boats and you know what
this is about this this comes under this point where it is nuts and okay so this comes under this point then next point is oh, what is the value added network okay so next point is that what is the value added network here so a value added network so here value added network is a private network provider hired by company to facilitate edi and provide other network service like message encryption secure email and so on a value added network is used by business to exchange information among each other the main goal of wan that is a value added network is to facilitate electronic data interchange edi between business the wan uh, is uh, on the top of the existing common carrier the carrier provides additional service on top of the infrastructure called value added service hence the name value added network a value added is a closed network which means and only members of the network can access the data when that is a value added networks are not connected to their the wider internet and use different infrastructure so here it simplifies the communication process by minimizing the number of parties with which company needed to communicate when is a short of an electronic post office where a uh, company send transaction to van and van place uh, that transaction um, in the receiver mailbox receiver contain um, van and pick up a uh, transaction and then sends its own transaction it is similar to the email with different that is used for standard structure data and not uh, for understand text Van provides some uh, additional service like uh, uh, retransmit document, provide support, providing the third-party audit service. So, Van's having some benefits like uh, alert system. It can alert company to uh, transmission issue or delivery receipt. Archiver storage. It is a can st uh, store ethical business information for longer periods of time. audit trailer it can audit the information about setup configuration and document transmission event real time data delivery it facilitate a real time delivery of data thus allowing quicker response to transmission then uh, the benefits of van that is a secure and reliable transmission so it ensures secure transmission of company data also data is received by the receiver so wan is a closed network which means that only member of the network can access data wan are not connected to wider internet and use a different infrastructure so type uh, type means wan include the like telecommunication company in industry group specialization service provider and large company so types of uh, the wans having some type like uh, there are three types in wan like one to one one to many and many to many so here types of error nine here one to one one to many and many to many this is the wan that is a value added network service so in one to one uh, the one to one networks is a connection between two business exchange, uh, exchanging data one to uh, many a sig uh, signal business connect to multiple so in one to one what network is connected between two business exchanging it means here two business uh, is connected between two business one business and two okay and exchange exchange the data so and here the one to many in these a single business that is a single business is connecting connecting to multiple other business so you can see here a single business connected to multiple other business example major retail uh, retail uh, means connected to each different supplier retail uh, okay retailer is connected to different suppliers you know very well okay so this is a you can see the example then many to many mm, so here multiple business connect to one another this is the most common type of network used in the financial market since there are many market participate connected to each other via single venue 
so this is about the van van that is nothing but the what uh, value added network so with the help of value added network the business can connect it to each other one business connected to one another business that is a uh, sharing information between them yeah exchange the information then one to many one business can connect it to the uh, many business like retailer okay uh, then a uh, many to many many business connected to the other business so this is about the van so in upcoming lecture we will see uh, what uh, edi benefits okay benefits of edi and some diagram okay so to this lecture over here thank you just one minute Okay. Any problem? Akshata, Fatima, Akshay, Sarkar, ये लगा है। Yes, Saad. Lecture समझ लो। बोला। Oh man. Okay. Leave. You can leave now.